And look who has just stopped by. The striker, who is the star, in many ways, of Welcome to Wrexham on FX, because to hell with the guys who own the team, Ryan Reynolds and Rob McElhaney. I, I can say that, not not their employee, who's right here. Uh, the great striker of Wrexham AFC, Paul Mullen. Good to see you, Paul. How are you doing? Good to see you, finally, after um, I know. last year. We called, we spoke, we spoke, um, and now here you are in person. Um, and as I told you in our green room, it's thrilled. I'm thrilled to see you in person. Thanks for but the me. reason why you're still here in Los Angeles, uh, I, I'm I'm not happy for you on that respect. Uh, you have the floor. I'm, you know, a lot of folks know why, but uh, you're still here in Los Angeles. Yeah. Why? Slightly unfortunate uh -huh. uh, turn of events, I'd say. But mm -hmm. we obviously came over on our preseason tour and mm -hmm. visited North Carolina and then mm -hmm. headed to LA, mm -hmm. and then we moved on to San Diego to play against Manchester United, which mm -hmm. was obviously going to be a big occasion. It was a sold out Snapdragon Arena and. Yes. 10 minutes in, I think it was. Um, unfortunately, I've collided with the goalkeeper and managed to break four ribs and puncture my left lung. And mm. sadly, that meant that I couldn't fly home for an extra couple of weeks or two weeks in all. And yes, still here now. Obviously, it's unfortunate, but I think there's um, a lot worse places you could get injured than California. That's true. Southern California <laughs> at that as well. It's not a bad spot. Um, so, how are you right now? How Feeling are, better. Okay. The, the first couple of days were really rough, to be fair. The, the first seven days, I'd say, were quite rough and painful. And after that, I sort of I stopped taking the pain meds. They were making me feel nauseous in the morning. So um, I stopped taking them, and I'm feeling a lot better now. Obviously, it's nearly two weeks on from the injury, and I feel uh, a lot better at the moment. So the painkillers, to help you not feel the pain, were making you too nauseous. So the nausea... Was to was was something that made you feel like I'd rather feel the pain than nauseous. Is that what you're saying? Oh. Yeah, it was like exactly that. Really, it was. Uh, okay. Obviously, being an athlete in the UK, we get drug tested, so I couldn't take certain meds. Okay. Um, so the painkillers wasn't that strong anyway. But okay, just taking them on an empty stomach of a morning or whatever would make me feel sick, and I didn't feel like eating. Obviously, due to the injury and things. So okay, I just thought it'd be best if I left them and. Uh, Obviously, it, it didn't hurt that much that I had to take them, so I was sort of taking them on a recommendation. And right. I just left them in the end, but it's made me feel better, and I'm getting stronger every day, and uh, I feel a lot fitter now than I did a week ago. And unfortunately, the season started without you, right? Yeah, I mean, the season obviously started. It had been uh, 15, 16 years that they've been out of this division. Um, we managed to achieve the promotion last season, yeah, which right. was phenomenal for us. And I was really looking forward to walking out on that pitch the, the first game of the season to mm -hmm. a big cheer from the fans and a roar and a real excitement, but it wasn't to be. But the lads went out and uh, gave the best shot. I think the American tour of a lot of jet lag and that maybe played a part in us not being sure. quite at it during the first game, but I'm pretty sure going into the, the next couple of games, okay. it'll be better. When do you go back, do you think? What's the plan on that? I fly you... back tomorrow. Okay. Um, so we've got a flight tomorrow evening, which is uh, obviously brilliant after being a bit of time away and away okay. from the family. I'm really looking forward to getting back and seeing my little boy. Okay. That's how old you how old your boy? My little boy is four. Oh. So his name's Albie and he's um, he's autistic, so he doesn't quite understand why his dad hasn't been there for so sure. long, but his mum Molly's done an unbelievable job and I'm looking forward to getting back and okay. seeing him. Okay. Well that's wonderful. Um is it true, Paul Mullen, you have to tell the truth here on the Rich Eisen show. Is it true that uh, Rob McElhaney invited you to stay with him while yeah. you're here in Southern California, and you said no? I do Absolutely not want to stay. Absolutely true. Yeah, he, um, he offered me obviously a place to stay in his place with him, and yes. uh, obviously I was unbelievably grateful for that. They, they were wanting to really look after me and make sure that I, yeah. everything was taken care of. But my two friends from Liverpool were here watching me for the tour. And they um, both decided that they'd like to stay with me just to keep me company and give me some home comfort. So although Rob offered for me to stay in his house and it was an unbelievable gesture from him, I turned it down just because my two friends were here. And I think two, uh, three guests would have been uh, a bit too many for him. I know he's probably got the rooms in the house, but um, I, I don't think say, he'd have liked the uh, Scouse company uh, too much uh, after uh, a couple of days. Because I was about to say, you know, uh, welcome to Wrexham is not his first rodeo on FX, you know. I mean, the guy <laughs> has a very successful show for just FX. Just a couple. Yeah. <laughs> you know, just to say the least, um, plus three, I mean, you plus two, I guess uh, you didn't even ask him? No, I didn't that? want to. I, you know, I don't like putting people in uh, that position. I know he'd offered me to stay there, but um, I didn't want to put him in the position where he felt like he couldn't say no after offering me, me it. So um, He's ownership, We man. decided to 
to stay somewhere else on our own and spend a bit of time together, obviously, being my friends and okay. being busy at home with work and life in general. You don't get to spend much time with them. So okay. to have this opportunity to spend the two weeks with me two best friends from high school has been um, phenomenal. Okay, so um, it wasn't like you didn't want to stay with the boss then? Oh, obviously not. Of course, I'd have stayed if I was on my own and I needed care. So um, I'm pretty sure Rob and Caitlin has an unbelievable job for that, as we've sure. seen okay. when we were in Vegas. They uh, looked after us with the sun cream every day to make sure we didn't burn. So I'm pretty sure <laughs> I'd have been in safe hands. What? But what? Say that again? What? You, when you... we were in uh, Las Vegas celebrating yeah. the promotion at the end of the season, yeah. Rob and Caitlin come to spend time with us. And yes. Caitlin was the one walking around making sure that we were uh, putting our suntan on, uh, sun cream on. So yeah, 50, we didn't like burn. 50 SPF, she, thought 50? It, she thought we were taking as man versus son and there was only ever going to be one winner so she had to look out for us a little bit understood because you can't you can't be sunburned you know (laughs) and uh and promoted at the same time i guess catch the rich eisen show every single day on the roku channel 12 to 3 eastern for free